it's all so surreal right now. And I was just thinking about it last night that I will never see her again. I just a custody battle may have been a motive for murder. That's according to New Franklin Police. Good evening, everyone. I'm Leon Bibb. In for Lee Jordan tonight. And I'm Chris Flanagan. 30-year-old Chad Cobb is charged with aggravated murder and kidnapping tonight. Police say he killed his ex-girlfriend, 25-year-old Ashley Biggs. Investigator Sarah Buddison live tonight with more on the former couple's troubled history. Sarah, what'd you find? Chris, we found that... Cobb and Biggs share a six-year-old daughter, and in these court records, it shows that the custody battle over the girl had been heating up over the last few weeks. It's just a shock to know that she's not coming back and I won't see her again. New Franklin police say 30-year-old Chad Cobb murdered his ex-girlfriend Ashley Biggs. Candace Andre was the 25-year-old victim's neighbor and friend. Very nice, very soft-spoken. Like, I can tell she's just an awesome person great friend. Biggs worked at this Domino's on South Main Street in Akron. Police say she was called to make a delivery to the side of this building on Turkey Foot Lake Road early Thursday morning. She never returned. Police found her body bound and gagged and left inside her car in a rural part of Wayne County later that day. Cobb was arrested hours later. He really was not right in the head and he was trying to do anything to get his daughter back. And I don't think he was very um, accepting of her relationship, basically. Summit County court records show the pair fought over custody of their six-year-old little girl and the role of Biggs' partner in the girl's life. In October 2011, Biggs took out a protective order against Cobb, barring him from seeing her and their daughter. Two months later, Cobb got a protective order, barring Biggs' partner from seeing their daughter. In February, Cobb asked to change his custody agreement. In March, a judge issued a no-contact order for one year between Cobb and Biggs. Then, just a few weeks ago, Cobb filed two complaints with the court. He said Biggs does not permit the minor child to call her father as she had been ordered to do, and initially refused to permit the child to begin summer vacation with her father. I know he did it just because I know his track record. Police say Cobb is still just accused of the crime and that he hasn't talked since his arrest last night. There are still a lot of questions about this case tonight. For example, we don't know who placed that pizza delivery order. Police aren't saying what evidence led them to arrest Chad Cobb. And we also don't know exactly how Biggs died, although police did tell me that she had blunt force trauma to her head. On your side, I'm investigator Sarah Buddison, News Channel 5. Well, Sarah, before you go, what else can you tell us about Chad Cobb? He has a pretty checkered past. Issues between him and Ashley Biggs are not new. We found that in 2005, he pleaded guilty to domestic violence against Ashley Biggs. We also found that he has a criminal history in Wayne, Medina, and Summit counties for charges that include theft and breaking and entering. All right, Sarah Buddison reporting live tonight from Akron.